60, 62 watts in from the panel. Hello, welcome back to another video. This time it's not batteries. We are going to be unboxing the EcoFlow 60 watt portable solar panel. So I haven't done anything solar for a while, so it's great to get back into it. I picked this up via a Black Friday special. I can't remember exactly what the price was, but it was around a hundred bucks including postage which is a pretty good deal now if you remember with my earlier videos I used to have a 45 watt portable solar panel um, this is kind of the step up from that and I particularly wanted this model because I wanted the MC4 connections and I was surprised that they actually did send me the MC4 version because they usually just send out the next gen version which is which has the USB-C and the DC jack to XT60. I didn't really like the DC jack version because there's less cables you can get for it and I didn't think it was that waterproof but this is much better. Although it would have been nice to have MC4 and USB-C because that would be the sweet spot I think. Um, what do we have here on the box? 25% efficiency conversion rate, IP68 waterproof and you can hang it up as well and it's folding so let's open it up. Let's see what we get inside. So we get the box with the cable, XT60 to XT60i to MC4, and you have the four carabiner hooks and solar panels here. Quick start guide, bit of foam. More foam. Oh, let's get it out. And that's it. It's got some weight to it. How much does it weigh? Um, 2.12 kilos. It's still a very compact size, which is great. And it's pretty much like a 45 watt panel, except it's 60 watts now. Folds out into four sections, so each panel is 15 watts. Bit of foam on the inside of each one. Yeah, alright, so I guess the test here is to put it out and see how much I really get out of it. And of course, it's a pretty cloudy day outside today, but a uh, good test in low light conditions. So we've got the cables here, it's clearly marked positive and negative, and it's cable tied here, because otherwise they just start uh, flailing out everywhere. Now I also have the 160 watt next gen solar panel which is permanently sitting outside and that's kind of the same material as this just much bigger um, so yeah good to have things that look the same and in, in the EcoFlow brand I love it it's a very very good material like my other one sitting out in the sun for months now and it's it's completely fine so I'll take you outside and we'll go from there actually before we go outside I think it's important to know the specifications of this panel in case you don't know already um, it's 60 watts, plus or minus 3 watts, open circuit voltage 25.5, short circuit current 3.1 amps, optimal operating voltage 21.9 volts, optimal operating current 2.9 amps, recommended ambient temperature minus 20 degrees Celsius to 85 degrees Celsius, 25% efficiency, so they're the main things. Um, so this basically sits in between 11 and 30 volts, which is the input range of the River 2 and the River 3, I think. So, perfect panel for, for those um, EcoFlow units. Okay, it's plugged into my River 2 input 15 watts. That's because, look at the sky. It is pretty overcast today, so you can't expect too much. And here's the panel. So the clear cables, I think it's three meters, three meters or so, or five meters, I don't know, but it's good enough length. I bunched it up a little bit there. 
and obviously I don't need a charge controller because the EcoFlow has a built-in charge controller but if you're putting this solar panel out to a non-EcoFlow device you might need a regulator, solar charge controller you yeah, always check what you're hooking it up to don't hook it up without some sort of protection like that all right um, because it was brand new this thing I kind of had to bend the joins a little bit so they stay out um, yeah apart from that it's there's no kickstand but it sits up pretty sturdy it's not very it's not flimsy sun's coming out a tiny bit uh, 15 watts it's going to take a bit to do this but um yeah i'll check in the morning hopefully it's on the cloudy day tomorrow and see if i can get you 60 watts for you okay it's now morning i was a bit worried that it was going to be overcast today but shouldn't be too bad we're pulling in 26.5 watts almost 22 volts from the panel the river 2 is 68% so we should be able to top it up today to full uh, here is the conditions so not too bad and here is the panel I'll probably just angle it a bit more flatter I think it's a bit too straight yeah I'll report back a bit later on okay that change of angle there actually did a lot for it see here 51.3 watts so angle does matter but coming into the ego flow I'm only getting 36 reading directly before the uh, charge controller getting 50 watts here we're only seeing 36 that's interesting all right another update so yeah, we're starting to get some cloud cover over. Panels are still there. Had to move the power stations down and out of the sun. And what have we got? I have to read this. 60, 62 watts in from the panel. And we're getting 42 in. So a bit of a bit of a difference between the raw wattage raw power and coming into the into the unit itself but it's uh, almost there so really I'm getting I'm getting a bit more than 60 watts of this panel which means it passes my test pretty close to um, it's above 50 watts in cloudy conditions that's really good so far we've pulled 106 watt hours so working pretty great and I think that will do for my test hope you enjoyed this video this was the EcoFlow 60 watt portable folding solar panel with MC4 connectors